YouTube kick. Man, so we're going to talk about another Gen Zer. Some people are saying she's very entitled. Do I agree? Doesn't matter. Watch the video. Every single influencer and TikToker who put the Amalfi Coast on my For You page over the last two months deserves jail time. Because while they showed you the gorgeous coastlines and the cute little towns, what they didn't tell you were the disclaimers. First of all, it's impossible to get here. You have to fly into Naples. Then you have to take a train from Naples to Sorrento. Then you have to stand in 90 degree weather waiting for a ferry to get on a ferry with all of your luggage. Mind you, we've been in Europe for two weeks. All of your luggage, lug it onto the ferry, get to Amalfi Coast, finally. Then, to get to the highest of the high points, the beautiful hotels with the gorgeous, this, there's no streets here. There's no cars driving. So you have to walk up 160 stairs with all of your luggage to get to the top of this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous area with these beautiful views, carry it, and then also all the power went out because the Amalfi Coast doesn't have the infrastructure to support this tourism. Oh my God. Uh, number one thing I want to say, this is obviously somebody who makes TikTok videos. So obviously they're going to play up and be a little dramatic because they're talking to other girls, right? This is a young woman talking to other girls. So this is how girls talk sometimes when they talk to each other. They just kind of, and oh my goodness, I had to go all the way up the stairs and it was crazy, girl. Let me tell you, it's kind of that kind of feel. You know what I mean? Let me say this, guys, for people who, who get really mad at people who are Gen Z and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that she would complain about having to walk upstairs. Guys, the world has been made easier. It's okay to me. I'm fine with her complaining because, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a guy who complains sometimes, right? I complain about the good stuff going on in life. You know, all I got a roof over my head. You don't think I still complain about things? I do. I'm a guy who doesn't like to go outside when there's bugs outside. I love being outside during the colder part of the years. You're right. I'm mean, colder part of the years. Colder part of the year, right? When I go outside and I see, I get, if one mosquito bites me, I'm gone. I'm leaving the function. I'm not hanging out. I'm out of there. I don't do a whole lot of stuff because of the bugs, man. People may say, oh my gosh, the bugs. Back in the day, I used to blah, 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 blah. Oh, cool. I'm glad you did all that, man. I'm I, The power to you. Thank you for making life easy. But people are always going to find something to complain about, even when life was harder, right? And maybe you have to go up, go to school both uphill both ways, right? People complained about that when people had to go to school and sitting down for eight hours a day and write on a chalkboard. People complained about that when people were sitting on horses and it took them three weeks to get to the next city. You don't think they complained all the way there? People are always going to find something to complain about. I don't have a problem with her saying, man, I just thought that, you know, getting to this thing was going to be more beautiful. But now that I kind of see it takes a lot of work to do all this kind of stuff. And like I said, she's a TikToker. She's going to give you a little bit of it's girl talk. You know what I mean? But people want to always kill Gen Zers because they're like, oh, my gosh, man, life is so easy. Who made it easy for them? All the people before us. So what else are they going to complain about? Do you really expect everybody to be grateful when they've never lived a life that's harder than they have? How do you expect somebody to complain about when there wasn't computers, when they grew up with computers? Obviously, when they growing up, they're going to complain about stuff that's on the computer. People are going to complain about YouTube. People are going to complain about Twitter. People are going to complain about the stuff that used to never exist. It has nothing to do with their age. It's just the life that we live. So I just don't understand when I was looking at the comments of people saying, man, this, this, this Gen Z is so lazy. Hey, let me give you a fun fact, by the way, to people who always say that Gen Z is lazy. Did you know that the vast majority of us people who are in our 30s, 40s are fat? You want to have that conversation? I'm fat. People in my generation are fat. People who are above me, fat. A lot of the people in America, fat. Did she look fat to y'all? So before we go calling her lazy and calling her all this stuff because she wanted to do all these things, can you look at yourself in the mirror and look at your body? Let's just be honest with ourselves. We all have our flaws, okay? But just to go at the girl and say she's a lazy person, don't look like she's lazy. It looks like she at least moves around and does stuff. At least she's going and touring and living that life. Even if she's using her dad's money, I don't care. Or her mom's man, doesn't matter. But to call her lazy and all this kind of stuff for Gen Z when we are sitting, by, look at me sitting here, fat. Because a lot of my life, honestly, I could tell you guys, I wasn't necessarily lazy, but I, can I say I was lazy with the food I ate? Absolutely, because why? Because the life has been made easier for us. It's so much easier to get fat because you could just go down to your local McDonald's, spend five bucks and get the worst meal on the planet. But it's gonna taste good. 
a lot of us are lazy when it comes to our diet. So let's not act foolish. Not, we ain't out there working on roofs. You did it like I'm out there working on a roof? No. So I'm defending the, G the Gen Z girl in this one. Just because she complains about having to go up 100 stairs and stuff like that. I would complain about going up 100 stairs, buddy. I would do the same thing. Okay? And it's 90 degrees outside. I'm not trying to walk up those stairs at 90 degrees. I'm not. I would be complaining like her. Because the life is easier. It's okay, guys. Don't take somebody complaining personal. And let's be honest. Is your life truly that hard? Is it? Stop the cap. Goodbye.